Hey y'all are, it's your buddy George Jones over at the Alberga and Gun Range with my next installment on, but we've had a hard time today because the camera keeps shutting down because of the heat. We've got the Beretta model 1951, sometimes known as the Brigadier. <coughs> now this is not a hell one. This is actually a Italian manufactured Beretta 9mm handgun. And it's hot, boils it. I'll just stick this in the cooler for a little while. Anyway, it is the standard nine millimeter handgun of a lot of law, a lot of law enforcement agencies around the world for years, and still is in military service in several places. It is a standard column single action cross bolt safe uh, nine millimeter handgun manufactured by Beretta from like 1947 up into the 80s. Uh, one time, the Royal Families Protection Service of Great Britain used this as their standard service pistol, and then sometime in the late 1960s, adopted the Browning High Power, and then and then went to Heckler and Coke for some reason or another. I don't know. Anyway, we got a few of these, and um, from Europe, and they're. They're pretty cool guns, so we thought we'd bring one of them out and give it a try. Uh, got a 15-yard standard silhouette down there. Actually, it's a submachine gun training target. I'll try and get this around here and get a little, get a little bit better angle on it. There, like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Standard eight-round magazine with witness holes and a finger rest. Well, let's give it a try for about eight rounds. Or maybe 16 if I really like it. Put that guy in there, charge one up in there, and get it down on the old block where we can see what we're doing and let one go. Oh, take my gun off safe, there we go. And let one go. And I think I hit it, yeah, dead in the middle. Ooh, this gun shoots pretty good block back here you see what I'm a doing so you can see what I'm a doing locks back nicely has a standard Beretta heel button on it down here I'm going to take that out. Hey, give us some shells. Let's, let's load this thing up and shoot it again. Get us a good test on it, but I'm looking at the target down there at 15 yards, and it looks pretty nice. Oh, I have a caddy today. He's going to load my magazine. Do a good job, our garçon. We'll go out to eat later. Yes, sir. <laughs> You ain't right in the head, boy. <laughs> Thank you, neighbor. Let's get that up there. I think this old gun's worth a 16-round shooting test, don't you? All right, here we go again. Diggity dog. Here, put this thing in the shade somewhere so we can cool off. <laughs> Go over here and take a look at the old marksmanship, see how we actually did. Uh, and we did rather well. This is a good shooting old gun. 8 and 8 is 16. Just got them all in there, just about. All of them are in the 9, and... Only one, two, three are in the nine out of 16, and I put the rest of them dead up in the middle. So, that's not a bad, not a bad little marksmanship test. Now, let's talk about the particulars of this gun. This guy works just like any other standard uh, Beretta would work in the takedown arrangement and so forth. Okay, you've got a takedown right here, very simple. You know, 
take the magazine out, flip the take down at the, the take down point, and it just comes off the end of the gun. Uh, these guys, for some reason or another, this is the most rudimentary 9mm and the best accepted 9mm that uh, Beretta ever manufactured. Uh, this is the forerunner of the M9, basically. And for some reason or another, probably collectability and availability, these guns can command a fairly high price, including the ones with the original importation marks on the bottom of them. At least they were nice enough to put these on the bottom of the trigger guard where they're not so blatantly obvious. Uh, but these guys, when you see these guys around, they're, they're in the $500 price range. That's a three-digit serial number gun. Yeah, and this is, he just pointed out, that is a three-digit serial number gun. So this is a 588 was made the first month of in this day. series, and it's all, manu all, uh, all matching. Even the magazine is, is uh, to the gun. So anyway, that's not much of a video. We didn't go into it very deeply, but uh, uh, the Beretta Model 1951, pretty good old gun, pretty good old gun. Shoots good, works good, works right. Nice classic firearm. Glad to bring it out and show it to you. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me a dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door if you want to. Uh, ammo's getting expensive. <laughs> Just pure and simple. Uh, join the NRA. Don't believe all the propaganda from New York State. You know, just join the NRA. They're the best lobby. They're the best group fighting for you. I don't, I don't care if Wayne LaPierre wears a shiny suit or not. We've got the best lawyers. Well, all right, then. God bless everyone. Still, continue to be careful about the coof, and be careful about the goofs. If you live in an urban area, you'll be watching out for these people out there in the middle of the road. Uh, they're not your friends. Just turn around and go the other way. All right, then. God bless everyone, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye now. I don't know if I can get this up here or not, but there is a red-winged blackbird sitting on the eve of that barn. And right over there is another one. I don't think I ever recall seeing two of them together at the same time at the same place. I'd say they're territorial, territorializing the barn probably probably together looking for a nesting place. That would be my guess. You seldom ever see them, you know, so it's springtime after all, you know. Neat birds though. I don't know if they serve any purpose in the world other than to eat mosquitoes. Yeah, I don't know. All right then, there you go.